How long should I really follow the keto diet for? The ketogenic diet has come a long way from its humble beginnings. Originally founded as a way to treat children with epilepsy by eliminating sugars, the research has shown that the keto diet has since become one of the most prevalent low-carb diets around. Like any plan that seriously reduces or completely cuts carbs, it's not the easiest diet to stick to for a long period of time. Many people saw weight loss results in just their first week from following this 28-day keto challenge. Fortunately, you may not have to commit forever to reap the results. We talked to experts to find out exactly how long you should follow the keto diet. Remind me, what is the keto diet? On the keto plan, your diet is composed of 70% fat, 25% protein, and 5% carbohydrates, says Samantha Lynch, RDN. The goal of following a mostly fats diet is to put your body into ketosis. Studies show that it's easy to get this wrong if you're not following a proper plan. Many have had success on this keto plan here. When the body uses carbs as its primary source of fuel, it turns those carbs into a form of energy called glycogen. Ketosis slowly switches the body's source of fuel from glycogen to ketones, thereby using fats as the body's primary source of energy. When your body is relying on fat, there are a lot of ketone bodies, that's the basic fuel source in the bloodstream, and the brain uses those very efficiently, says Paul Salter, RD, MS, founder of Fit in Your Dress. How long does it take the body to get into ketosis? Ketosis isn't exactly easy to achieve. According to Salter, following the diet's guidelines is paramount. This is because your body could snap out of its ketotic state at any point. With the ketogenic diet, you have to meet these precise guidelines of eating, consuming this exorbitant amount of fat, a very small amount of carbohydrates, to actually see the benefits. If you do not eat to the guidelines, you actually don't induce the state of ketosis to experience those benefits, he says. In order to see your body shift to ketosis and start experiencing benefits, you have to allow an adjustment period of a few weeks. The first two to six weeks are virtually the ketogenic adaptation phase, where your body is going through the adaptation of switching to relying primarily on fat versus glucose or carbohydrates. Salter says. He adds that to really see results, you should follow the diet for a minimum of three months. What are some things to keep in mind while following the keto diet? In order to achieve true ketosis and avoid any nutritional deficiencies, consult a registered dietitian or nutritionist prior to starting the keto diet. It's easy to develop an electrolyte imbalance while on the plan, Lynch says, as you are not allowed to consume many foods from which you gain electrolytes, such as certain grains, fruits, and vegetables. Additionally, it's important to pay attention to the kind of fat you consume. Because of the high amount of fat necessary, the keto diet is much more welcoming to all types of saturated and unsaturated fat, Salter says. Try to balance out your fat intake to include healthier fats as well. Lynch adds, I think that people feel more satiated on a higher fat diet. But it has to be done right and include healthy fats. Some healthy sources are avocado, olives, nuts, and fatty fish. What are some things to keep in mind while following the keto diet? In order to achieve true ketosis and avoid any nutritional deficiencies, consult a registered dietitian or nutritionist prior to starting the keto diet. It's easy to develop an electrolyte imbalance while on the plan, Lynch says, as you are not allowed to consume many foods from which you gain electrolytes, such as certain grains, fruits, and vegetables. Additionally, it's important to pay attention to the kind of fat you consume. Because of the high amount of fat necessary, the keto diet is much more welcoming to all types of saturated and unsaturated fat, Salter says. Try to balance out your fat intake to include healthier fats as well. Lynch adds, I think that people feel more satiated on a higher fat diet. But it has to be done right and include healthy fats. Some healthy sources are avocado, olives, nuts, and fatty fish. So, how long should I follow the keto diet? As is true for any diet, you should only begin to follow it if you can maintain it as a lifestyle change. All it takes is 28 days to see a huge transformation. If you want to keep the weight off, you're going to have to eat well. You can't go back to your old ways. Lynch says. A diet has an end point, and that's the problem. 
With a lifestyle, there's no end point. You have to put the work in. Salter echoes that sentiment, adding that there is no finite limit, as long as someone knows how to properly navigate carb-infested situations like social gatherings, vacations, and holidays, or they are okay with the ramifications if they do rapidly introduce carbohydrates in a short period of time. Any diet needs to be something that can you do and maintain for far longer. The keto diet certainly is. You just have to be diligent and educate yourself.